What's up everyone? Welcome back to another one of my videos here. Today, this video that I'm going to show you, um, I hope you'll find it interesting. The deck that I'm going to present to you, the theme of it, it's running with the theme of this season, right? So as you guys know, we've got a bit of a Valentine's theme going on. So what I've done to run with that is I've got Priscilla here in this deck. Um, along with her sweetheart here dandelion so these two lovebirds i've added into the deck and i'll explain uh their use in a second also as we know um yennefer is pretty much the main star at the moment so i've added yennefer the conjurer into this deck as well also going to go through in a second and explain to you why she's in here just kind of highlighting the main cards for you as we begin this um so the name of this deck is the conjuring I thought it'd be catchy, you know, because I'm sure you guys know about the movie. Um, so yeah, pretty much going along the lines of that. So The Conjuring, as you guys know, this is Yennefer the Conjurer. I thought it'd be a fitting name. So, um, okay, let's get into it. Our leader ability here is Mobilization. Um, with this leader ability, we can spawn a base copy of a Bronze Ally Soldier on its row and boost it by three so the reason we've got mobilization is we're looking to save that for our redanian archers down here and these units will be looking to use um, as a strategy to win our match overall so basically we're looking up to finish a game with our archers lined up on the range row um, so I'm going to take it from the top and just explain this, uh, kind of my ideas with this deck. Um, I have been experimenting with this deck quite a bit. I've gotten it to a point where it works decently well. I wouldn't say it's complete like any of my decks, so please keep that in mind as I explain this deck to you and show you it. Um, there's definitely room for progress, just like with any of my decks that I put out there. But what I'm hoping to show you guys with this deck is an idea. And hopefully you guys can build on that and maybe even give me some tips back. So, you know, in the comments down below, if you think there's some ways you can strengthen this deck or some ways that have worked for you, like 100%, like leave your comments down below and let me know how I can improve it or what you find works. So overall, what we're trying to achieve with this deck is we're trying to finish the end of a match with our archers. And the way Yennefer works is she deals one damage to the highest enemy units, okay? She's got a cooldown of one. So the idea of this deck is we use the archers to level down the enemy units to the same power, all having the same power. So, you know, whether it be all fives, all fours, all sixes, whatever it is. And then Yennefer's in the background and we're clicking her and she's going to zap everyone at the one go. That's the idea of this deck. How often does that happen? You know, I don't know. But that's what we're trying to go for, right? So, I mean, um, I mean, there's been times when I've used this deck and most of the times I haven't even, like, required to use Enifer. I mean, so it's kind of give and take, but I'm trying to do something to use her, right? Because you don't see the Conjurer used often. This is my idea of how we can kind of fit the Conjurer into a deck. I'm, I'm trying to be as practical as I can with this. So... This is my idea. We're using the archers, level down the opponent's um, power for each of the units, keep them all on the one level, and then Yennefer's going to be zapping them. So that's the idea of this deck. Um, we've got Crystal Skull in the beginning to use on our Griffin Witches. I mean, that is a excellent combo to use. A Crystal Skull on a Griffin Witcher is crazy because on Adrenaline 3, they're going to be locking themselves and doing um, damage, um, sorry, random damage to an enemy unit uh, by three after Adrenaline 3. So that's crazy. Three points of damage, three points of damage. It's nuts, let alone the order ability as well. So Griffin Witches give us a lot of value in the long run. So the Crystal Skull is for the Griffin Witches. We have access to three Griffin Witches. We've got two that I have as units in this deck, as well as um, the location here. So when we play location, we play it for Griffin Witcher. Um, the boost 
that we can get from the order ability from location, what I'd like to do with it is place it on Anna because um, if she's in, inspired, which means that um, basically she's boosted more than her regular power, she can boost adjacent units. So you might want to do something like use order ability on Anna and then pull out Anna with a Nero straight into the same round. Um, that can give you a good momentum there as well. Um, as well as that, for the Griffin Witches, um, obviously if they're Veiled, they're very strong as we get late into a round. So to help with that, I've got Fortune Teller in here. So we're using the Fortune Teller's uh, range deployability to Veil a Griffin Witcher. As well as that, we've got Marlene, same thing again. If you want to Veil a Griffin Witcher, drop Marlene down, then drop the Griffin Witcher, use their order ability on the Griffin Witcher. Give it Veil. Okay, so outside of that, we've got the Defender. The Defender is obviously for the final round to protect all our archers. Um, as well as that, we have Reynard here on deploy boost adjacent units by one. And whenever we play units, it's going to keep boosting by one. So this card gives us a lot of excellent value in the long, long run as well. Um, this card I'd like to use in the first round, help us get out of the first. Um, we can deploy it down next to a Griffin Witcher uh, initially, and then we can drop Anna next to Reynard. Reynard boosts Anna, and then she becomes an inspired unit and boosts adjacent units. That's a good way to play it too. Uh, okay, so we have another main star here, Priscilla. Um, we're using Priscilla to give charges to the archers in the final round. So keep Priscilla. We can play on the range through, boost by one. If she's inspired as well, she can give two charges instead of one. Um, her other half over here, Dandelion. Um, we're also using him in the synergy of playing in with the archers that we're using. So if we play him on the range through, whenever the um, archers are gaining charges, Dandelion will be boosting um, each archer for a charge they've gained. So that, that means we'll be going up by many points each round as archers will be gaining their charges. Also, along with Priscilla giving archers a charge, um, Dandelion will boost them upon that too. So I think it's a pretty good uh, flow there. Um, the use of Itaran here, we're using Itaran to spawn more archers. So we're taking Itaran into the final round. We'll place him down first on the field before we put an archer down. Uh, once Itaran's on the field, we place our archer down. Then we can use our leader ability on the archer. And then that will activate Itaran to spawn an extra archer. So, I mean, there can be times where our whole range row becomes stacked full of archers and we can have a lot of damage uh, we can deal that way. So Itaran works quite good with the idea of this deck too. Um, so you guys, like once again, you know my style, I like to throw in something different every time I make a deck, give you guys something I'm sure you don't see too often. This time it's War Chariot. This card, in my, um, in my estimation, I think it's a bit underrated, you know, so... It gives us, um, it's a five powered unit, but it can also give bleeding for four turns. So it's, a, it's basically a seven for nine play, seven provision cost for a nine, nine point play, however you want to call it, nine point difference um, of value that we can get like that. So um, on the melee row, if you deploy, it gives bleeding for four. Range row allows us to move an enemy unit. So it gives us a bit of flexibility too, because obviously as we come up against some units, whether they're in a range draw um, ability, a, me a melee row ability, using War Chariot can throw them off. Very good, especially against Keltalus. If you know you're coming against Keltalus, you can keep War Chariot until you see it. Um, if, if he's in between two soldiers, crew, that's what that means, um, you can combine both abilities. That necessarily won't happen. It's not really an aim of this deck, but you can keep it in mind if you want to kind of play it that way. 
Um, reinforcements. This allows us to spawn a and play a base copy of a bronze, bronze allied unit. We're keeping in this. Uh, sorry, we're keeping this in here for the archers in the final round. Once again, spawning with this card and having Iteran down gives us extra spawning, means extra archers. Means a ton of archers, guys. We're going to have plenty of archers if we can get this to work as we're intending to. Um, you can also use reinforcements on the Griffin Witches if you want a bit of flexibility and you're kind of stuck with the cards in your hand. Uh, Vincent here. Another card, I haven't, play, I haven't seen this card played too often for a while, guys. Um, so I thought I'd throw it back in there for that reason. I think it's good to kind of uh, recycle some cards, let's say. Bring them back in after they haven't seen much play. It's something unsuspecting for someone you're versing. It can give you a bit of leverage, I think. So he's got a Zeal ability where he will set the power of a non-boosted enemy unit to 1. So this can work pretty good against V. You know, if you're coming up against a V player... And maybe their last move is a V where they just playing V on the field, non-boosted in his original form. And he's got a very high um, power considering all the consumes that's been going on through a match. I mean, Vincent can play for a ton of good value against V, for example. Also works good against um, Siri, uh, some defenders too. Got a few removals here with the boiling oil. Um, just keep that as you need. Especially against Syndicate, this can work quite well when they play a defender and it's got, you know, there's two bug looking things. Like if you just ping one with this, it purifies the next one. No worries, you know. Um, so we've got Pillar in here. That's just to get past defenders. Um, and then we can use a heat wave on anything a defender might be ca uh, covering. You can also use Pella on one of the Griffin Witches if it becomes locked. And then uh, it will basically give you three points of extra damage. And then the Witch will lock himself again. Uh, Temple Guard. These, these cards are just kind of to fill out the deck at the end of the day. Um, we can use this on Anna to, to make her an inspired unit. That's a good way to use Temple Guard. And we just got a few royal guards down here at the bottom as well. Okay. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much the, the deck guide for this in a nutshell. So as I said, please keep in mind, I mean, we can always work on decks so much. And honestly, to perfect the deck, I don't even know if you can perfect the deck. I think like it's a never-ending process of trial and error. It can take a long time to perfect something. But um, that's, this is the, the aim with this deck. We're looking to use the archers, bring all the enemy units, power down, and then use Yennefer Conjurer to kind of get some really good value. So let's try to aim with that now as we go into these matches. Um, I got a very good response from my last video, guys. appreciate all your support and positive feedback since then. All your subscriptions, it really means a lot to me. If there's any way I can help you, even if you have some questions or you want some tips and advice, maybe some help deck building, just let me know. That's what I'm all about. You know, I like to help people out and kind of help them get to the top. That's what my channel is about, you know. So, um, you know, if you guys want to help me back, honestly, you only have to do one thing. Just, just click the subscribe button. If you guys can subscribe to me as much as possible, that would help me heaps, you know, because I'm really trying to build my channel up at this time and, make it go as big as possible and doing bigger and better things for you. So, you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while and you haven't subscribed, you know, please consider doing that. It would help out a lot. So, yeah. Um, Yenna for the Conjurer, Priscilla and Dandelion. They're the main stars of this season. This deck is a spirit of the season deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the following matches right now. Those Force of nature. This will be a good one. So we should be able to get some good value out of Vincent here. I'm estimating. Let's have a look. Hey, 
This usually gets heat waved whenever I do this, whenever I crystal skull this. People know the value of it, it's quite a good card to have rolling throughout a match. Especially when it's veiled. Or oh, Oberon. We must quit this world. Depart. Oh, that's that's really not good, is it? I think that's a misplay on the opponent's part. Anyhow, we'll we'll capitalize. We're not worried with that. From here, uh, I think we'll just go like this. Her Majesty is exceptional. Wow, Egan. Guys, check this out. Oh my gosh, talk about value. Far out. I told you. I told you, Vincent's underrated. People don't expect it. Ooh, that would have been a nice target too. So it looks like they're looking for dominance since they're throwing such high powered stuff at us. Maybe it's worth just hitting that. Keeping it down. Wow, Koshi now? Wow, that's very interesting. Playing Koshi already. Alright. Well, let's not give him that. True. Looks like we're going to play it out here. Not Egan out of everything. <laughs> we shall conquer this world as we have conquered countless others. Damn that Koshi. Um Nice. Nice. We got it. Oh, well done. Truth is a shard of ice. Um so Uh, let's pass here. Oh. 
Okay, so we managed to get out of that. Believe it or not. I guess we're expecting a bleed here. So we should be prepared for that. Um, fortune teller. Yep, that could get us out of a bleed. Okay. Let's throw a uh, purify. The realm of the living severs your chain. Abandon now. Stay. Well, wow, that's a really um, tight first round. Very tight. But the Griffin Witches, they give us so much value. Um, they'll just keep damaging by three if they're veiled, so it's really good for us. Go like this. For honor and for coin. Thanks for the offer, but I prefer to create my own company. Corinthia of Bruxa. Corinthia onto Bruxa, far out. Um, Alright then, let's get our archers. The sky will burn with the eternal fire. Um, yep. Ooh, lovely. So, since he's got Thrive, I'm just going to take that out. And we'll keep this charge. So hopefully we drop Yen as well. We'll drop Dandelion first. Yep, Dandelion will keep that alive now. Let's take out his Thrives. Alright. Yen will come next. Pretty much we're going up by three every time with Dandelion. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how Yen works. So check it out, we're going to drop the power down to be equal. All threes. And now we click Yen, like this. That's how it works, that's the idea. Wow, what a ter terrible hand for them, eh? My goodness. Oh, guys, we're going to have some fun here. Oh my goodness. Yo. Check it out. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh my, your lifeline. Oh my gosh. 
That's just too good. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is just overkill. Watch this, just Yen's gonna zap him on her own. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what the hell? That was ruthless. Oh my gosh, that was ruthless, guys. <laughs> oh, that was like just a complete destruction. Oh my gosh, that was some serious fun. So um, I'm happy I could actually show you a match where um, we have the archers working together with the end and you can get an idea of uh, what I'm trying to go with with this deck here. So I hope you liked that match, guys. Damn, that was some fun. That's so fun to see um, Yen just zapping everyone like that. We didn't even have to use the archers on then. Crazy, crazy. Lockdown. Alright, let's see how we do. Alright, so we veil the Griffin Witcher to open up. The wonders of projectiles and ranged weaponry. wish to just boost that right up I think we just go into um, yeah how are we gonna boost that up that's the question um, Let's go like this. Her Majesty is exceptional. Let's give this to Anna. And maybe we can play Anna next in between them. Okay, so it looks like we're doing alright so far. For the so far, so good. Uh, let's give that four bleeding one on. Lieutenant Flats will lead the scouts. Yep. Oh, 
So it looks like they're, they're trying to play Colgrim, right? If we're getting all this spawning going on and uh, they have this thinning happening, I'm expecting Colgrim. So we're going to want to draw a heat wave in our Purify for that. And we'll just go into a long um, third round. I think that's optimal for us. Okay, purify, good. Not really looking for these now. Get rid of that. Oh, nice. Heat wave, purify, get through defender, get to Colgrim if we see that. Let's just pass here. Siri Nova. Okay. Let's see how we do. Let's just purify that right away. Lost spirit devoid of name, but now our veil of pain. Swatch for Colgrim. Hefty Helge. Yep. Oh, let's see how we do with that. Okay, let's play our defender. One never need ask me twice. Maybe we can use Redanian Archer. One hit there, then boiling oil it. Just keep them for now. I want to see what happens. The Nordling's hatred for us will never wane. Okay, let's go like this. Just make sure he doesn't get anything out of that anymore. Yep. So unfortunately we didn't draw Yen here and since I have Idoran in hand so he's not dead I'm gonna go a Nero for this so at least we got more archers on the field and we can just use him as a source of removal Only two targets, pity I brewed enough toxin for 20 Alright, so 
Okay, Iteran next. Oh, don't dare cross me, or my friend here will tear you to pieces. Scare that. Can't see it getting any better than this. Strike first and strike hard. We will fail the Griffin Witcher now. Um, oh, actually, we can't. That's my bad. That's an order ability. Oh, uh, so he's gonna up lock in himself. That's my mistake, guys. Um, Fortune Teller on deploy would have ailed him, but I should have should have focused on how I was playing that there. Colgrim now is it? Yep. I demand justice. A trial by okay. ordeal. Can heat wave that now? This is pretty much whatever. Monsters! No, a goat will suffice for now. Um, let's go for spawning of the archers. Get Iteran to spawn some. The sky will burn nice, with the nice. Fire. Let's go like that. Excellent. Let's play Dandelion. A bad feeling about this. So how many charges? We got seven, is it? When I'm done with you, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, one point, guys. Um. I believe we may have won that if it wasn't for, for my mistake there with Marlene. I I wasn't paying attention to the sequencing of the cards I was playing. So I should have played uh, Marlene a bit before because she had an order ability to give Veil to the Griffin Witcher. And then we could have had uh, three points of damage rolling throughout the end of the match then. But anyway, my mistake guys, close one. Get a thunderbolt. You get a thunderbolt. Okay, so we got against enslave here. They're good to keep for the first. We can keep all the Griffin witches with the veils. That's nice. Reynard's good too. Archers we don't need at this time. We can kind of keep one because it's very important that we have one in hand for the end. And then. Uh, Maybe we can look for something better. Maybe flick this. Okay. All right. So to begin with, let's just drop this down. I mean, it's quite hard going up against Nilfgaard with all the locking going on. I don't know how how well we're going to go here with the Griffin Witches. And all the removals they're going to have. Yep. I don't know how long we can really 
last on this one. Let's try though. Um, let's get like this. Fall overboard, and I'm not jumping in after you. the coin. As long as we can make it to the third round and have a long third round, I think we're good. That's really what we're aiming for with this deck. We want it just a long third round. We we don't really want to get bled, although we do have cards what can help us get through some bleed situations like the Griffin Witches and whatnot. Um, okay, let's use this. Say on Priscilla. Hmm. Can try another. Nice get princesses, and we get what? Bloody streakers. Order the queen. Well, I've uh, well, it's good to get him out of the way. I spy, I spy, I spy. Okay, that looks like a good um, spot for us to pass, guys. Wow, we really couldn't get anything going there. <laughs> I mean, our deck will perform best on blue coin as opposed to red because um, these guys' power is so low. And obviously they got order abilities too, so if they don't avail, they'll just get locked right off the bat. Okay, good. So we managed to get into a long third, which is what we want. Okay, let's just dump this here. The wonders of projectiles and ranged weapons. And now uh, let's look for Itaran. Um, Itaran, Dandelion would be good. Maybe Heat Wave. Let's see what we can pull here, guys. Our hand is looking quite good, though, uh, for a final round, I must say. Nice, nice hand. Um, enslave. Okay, we've got some good cards in there. I'll just give it one more go. Oh, beautiful, a Nero. Okay, so let's go with the Defender to begin with. Let's see how long this will stick. Just seizes it. Yep, there we go. All right.
Let's see how we go with Itaran. I really don't know how long we're going to last like this guys, all this removal going on. You can just get an assassination. Just like that. Yep, I know. I know, I was expecting it. Let's go Priscilla. How long is this one going to last? Seems like everything we're playing is getting taken out. Crazy, eh? Nothing's sticking so far in this entire match. Okay, here we go. Let their blood break their bones and spirit. All right. So. Let's get one archer down. For king, for country, Let's for spawn his base copy. Give charges. And let's start getting through. Hopefully we can turn this around now. Wow, Damien. We need no help from outsiders. Right, right, right. Um Unfortunately, we don't have enough charges to really get rid of him, but... So he takes one of our archers now, I guess. Takes this, takes her. Takes them both. Okay. Yep. I see. They charge it. Ah, swap, stop them. So it's looking a bit rough guys, this match. Wow. The sky will burn with the eternal fire. Okay then. Um So this card here is dead for us. All right. Maybe Yen now. Best yield now. Wow. <laughs> nice, use the back on us. Alright. Let's go like this. Your Majesty is exceptional. Get your yen back.
Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Okay, we just can that. No use there. What is it you want? I will be strong. I will be righteous. Nice. Well, at least um, he's showing you how I'd be using him. Um, so Vincent here plays decent um, on this card here. But yeah, unfortunately, guys, we couldn't do anything in this match. Just too many removals. Nothing could stick. Wow, rough one. 